Summer vacation is nearing its end with some students beginning class as early as Monday. So just a friendly reminder to get that summer reading done, but more importantly, get excited for the start of fall sports. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Noah Searson. Now ahead of regular season games starting today, the Vermont Principals Association sharing their goals and concerns for this upcoming school year with their annual media day. And one of the issues the VPA is dealing with is a low level of officials across all sports, including football. Now last season, there were 47 referees across the state. This year, that number is down to 35 with each football game requiring five referees. That's just seven games at a time. This means there's going to be more Thursday night games along with Saturday night contests as well as schools navigate the shortage. Amongst other changes to football, Championship Saturday is moving towards a rotating schedule. Longtime host Rutland is the site for this year with St. Johnsbury to follow next year and South Burlington the year afterwards. And once you know it, realignment is hitting Vermont. Maybe not like the Big Ten and ACC, but reigning Division II champion Mount Anthony and Brattleboro will both be joining Division I this season. The VPA also providing an update today on Mid-Vermont Christian's member status after the school was removed from sanctioned events in the spring following its refusal of the girls basketball team to participate against a team with a transgender student athlete. Now currently Mid-Vermont Christian is not a member of the VPA, although the school could apply. Executive Director Jay Nichols of the VPA made it clear Friday if they did apply, they'd have to follow all of the organization's rules. So until then, the school and all of its students won't be able to participate in any official VPA events. NBC5 reached out to Mid Vermont Christian and have yet to hear back. Teams across all sports are beginning practice this week, including the VPA's newest offering, eSports. The VPA is going to be offering League of Legends, Rocket League, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as titles for this fall. Students can participate in addition to any other sport as VPA Executive Director Lauren Thomas hopes eSports can help support kids' passion across the state. We partnered with Play Versus. They have a national wide scope, so if a team were to get a cancellation in their um, schedule, Play Versus can plug somebody in from, let's say, Georgia. What a great opportunity for our kids to have a national wide experience from within Vermont playing eSports. So an exciting time for gamers. Thomas also adding the VPA is looking to set up an in-person championship sometime in December.